welcome back to the channel. On this video, uh, once again, Keith is going to be joining us. How are you doing, Keith? Pretty good, Mark. And Keith is riding the Rad Rover, and I'll be riding, I'm Oregon e-biker, Mark, by the way, uh, <laughs> and I'll be riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser right there. I think I need to figure out a name for me. A cool name like Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna ride from Eibach Park to Cook Park. So park to park, this ought to be fun. So uh, we're going to try to get through without getting rained on. Yeah, we're racing the rain clouds today. So here we go. And I'm going to make sure I get on and not hit that camera. Okay. <laughs> I'm you not used it? to getting on this way. Yeah. I should have got on the other side. Uh -huh. I might have been able to throw that leg up. But... All right. And here we go. I'm in pedal assist three. And gear eight, and just use the throttle to get started. And then once we get rolling, this bike is really easy to pedal. And oh, squirrely squirrel! Yeah, I guess that's the way out. I thought there was going to be a way out on the other side, but I didn't see anything. Hmm. It doesn't matter, I guess. So we'll make a left and then we'll go to make another left at the end over here. Yeah. Lots of uh, debris in the bike lane right there. Lots of Teslas. Somebody had a Rivian back there. Did you see that? Yeah, I've seen a few of those too. Teslas are like all over the place.
Yeah, I know. I was just thinking the same thing. There's a lot of Teslas. Holy crap. This bike has really good brakes. Yeah. This might be great if it had hydraulic brakes. Like the mirror one does. I thought we were going to get the green light, but we hit another red. So we made it to Avery. Yeah, I remember. If we want to go back the other way, we just go straight back there. We're hitting all the red lights. This will give the brakes a workout today. Yeah. We need regenerative braking. Yeah. Save your brake pads.
coast all the way. Uh, we're hitting every red light. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every single light. Is good. Have you ever eaten at that 60s diner? No, but we've got that donut shop right there. It's pretty good. Oh, I've eaten at the diner there. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. I recommend it. Okay. I've learned on this Rad Rover, I'm just keeping it in pedal assist too, and then whenever I need a little bit of power, I just use the throttle, even you know, 15 miles an hour. And the, the throttle is just so nice and smooth, I can just you know put the power right where I need it. This um, cruising, this bike is so easy, like you don't have to, you're not you're pedaling good at a good rate, uh, with pedal assist three, you're not ghost pedaling. I mean, if you go above three, then you're probably going to be ghost pedaling, uh, but no ghost pedaling, and you're going 15 to 20 miles an hour. Yeah, I just mostly can't. closer to 20. That's thing I would say on flat lands, you're about 15 to 20, but when you're going up a hill, you're probably going to be cruising about 10, unless you're going to use some throttle. With throttle, going up a hill and pedaling, you can get about 15 to 20. And with this one, with the wattage, I was watching the wattage. You go between three and 375 watts, 300 to 375. So, so it's not even working hard. No, it's not working overly hard. So it should be good on the battery. And I haven't even lost the battery uh, line yet. Yeah, I've got five bars. Yeah, I've, no got, I've got the same. Right? Let's see how the other camera's still holding up pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we're still, we're still uh, safe. Still got, yeah. I just turned the assist level to one because when you're on with a lot of people around, then yeah, one is fast it. enough. Even that can get going a little bit quick, you know. Yep. What a beautiful day for a ride. This is great. Yeah, it turned out to be uh, different than I thought. I was expecting more rain, but we've lucked out so far. That's a nice little ride. Too. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, on pedal assist one, you're not going to use a lot of your battery, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm using 15 watts. I'd say about 100. I mean, at 15 watts, you could ride forever. That's at about nine and a half, ten 10 miles an hour. Let's try to compare them. Okay, so you're about... I'm at 33 watts right there. Oh, mine jumped up to 83. I'm at pedal system one. Why is it using more when I'm on one? Gear eight. 50, well it's going between 31 and 50, 31 right now. Okay. 52, 31 yeah. back and forth. Mine's going 33 to 67. Yeah, they're pretty similar. Very little battery power. On, on nice yeah, I cruise. mean, you could ride on a trail, that, like at that speed you could ride forever. Oh yeah. It'd be, it'd be nighttime before you got there and before the battery ran out. Yeah, so for people that just want a nice, a nice leisure ride, these are excellent bikes for that. Yep. Sunday in the park, it's really crowded. Yes. Care for a swim? <laughs> it's been a little too cold. Yeah, the water doesn't look too appetizing. Yeah, summertime you see a lot of the paddle border. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a lot of that. Yeah. I'll stick to my bike though. Yeah. I was thinking about doing, you know, the tubing thing, but I'm not sure. The water right here is a little dirty too. Yeah. This is not Oregon water. Swamp water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like back in Texas. That's how the water was back here. Bloody. You just feel like some monster's gonna come out and grab you or something. You can't see anything. <laughs> Could be an alligator. Oh, I don't think we have yeah, those here. Not up here this is in Florida. Are you in pedal assist one? Yeah, still number one.
it makes you uh, makes you want to work. Oh, yeah. yeah, this bike I haven't run into that all of our ride uh, time riding this. Uh, when you rode it that that one day last week, did it seem to? Did you go on any hills? I can't remember up anything. And did you notice it? Um, yeah, I think so. Did it seemed pretty good. This yeah, one. Yeah, I remember um, at the church, the school up that. Oh, that okay, road? yeah, that's right. We had to get up to the light. Yeah, I mean, you were pedaling with it, but it just went right up. You weren't yeah. exerting yourself. No. Keith, we made it to Cook Park. And no rain. And no rain. Not yet. Can't complain about that. Nope. Not going to complain on that one. I was about three and a half miles there. It was a little bit of a nap. Oh, shoot. Okay. I think I. No, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I'm so used to. Uh... Just doing that, yeah, I know. That's okay. It stayed oh, up this okay. time, at least. I was going to say that I. Uh... It was a little bit tricky navigating through the people there and the dogs and stuff, but we made it. Yeah. Just got to take it easy. Well, thanks for coming on this ride, Keith. All right, Mark. And uh, some baseball practice going on over there. That's cool. That's Practicing like for, the, for the upcoming game. So uh, that's going to do it for this video, our ride from Eibach Park to Cook Park. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting us. And if you want to uh, be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. Thank you, Keith. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.